What's up YouTube, just Gav here bringing guys a brand new video up onto the channel. In the video we're going to be talking about the Season 7 leaks that have come out on Billy Billy, which I believe is a Chinese version of YouTube. So before we get into them, let's take let's let's all realize that we need to take this these with a grain of salt and that none of this could be true, yet all of it could be true, or some of it could be true, and none of and some of it could not be true. But I think it's interesting, and there's really nothing to talk about with Battlefield, to be honest with you. So we must make a video about it. So <laughs> some of the Season 7 leaks that have come out in this video are with weapons, a gadget, and a new vehicle, allegedly. Again, allegedly. So starting out, we got the AK-5C, which is going to be put into the Assault Rifle category. Obviously, you guys know, if you play Battlefield 4, the AK-5C was a starting, I believe it was a starting carbine. It wasn't in the assault rifle category. It was a starting carbine, which all classes could use in the, the carbine uh, weapon class. All classes could use. But in this game, obviously, all classes can use whatever weapon they want. But it'll be in the assault rifle category. The AK-5C is not in Portal either because it is a BF4 weapon. So it, it will technically be a new weapon to the game. Not a completely new weapon we've never seen before, but a new weapon to Battlefield 2042 in itself. And I actually really enjoyed the AK-5C. I think it's my most used primary in Battlefield 4 or I have the most killed I think I have like 12 or 13,000 with the AK-5C and BF4 I'm not sure that I'd have to check but that is a that's a welcome addition to the game obviously the more weapons the merrier and obviously the more weapons you have the more blurred the lines get between them because you got to balance them differently and make them active but I get it but the AK-5C is welcome all new weapons are welcome, whether they're trash or not. Outside of snipers, stop putting snipers in the game. Anyways, moving on, we got the C, we got the SCZ3 submachine gun. Now, I don't know if there ever was an SCZ3. It's probably a gun we've gotten before, but they've renamed it for naming. Y'all know how that goes. That's why you never see the real names of guns and games anymore, really, because of patents and laws and rules and. Yeah, it sucks, but I understand. But the SCZ-3 submachine gun, again, a welcome addition to the SMG class. The SMGs nowadays, especially in Battle of 2040, feel kind of eh, besides the PP-29. The rest of them are kind of just there, <laughs> to be honest with you. I don't really use them at all. It's AR. It's Assault Rifle LMG uh, DMR for me. So hopefully this will throw a new wrench into the SMG class and make me more, um, you know, make me use it more. Obviously, I'm going to tier one it, but... Hopefully, it'll make, I'll come back to it even after I tier one it. So, yeah, we're getting a new submachine gun. Moving on, we got the CZ-3A1 carbine. Now, I believe in Battlefield 4, it was the CZ-301, was it? Or was it the CZ-305, which was in the assault rifle uh, category? I believe it was in the assault rifle category. So, it's probably the same version of that gun. Maybe a lower caliber, maybe a higher higher caliber. I could be wrong, but again... A welcome addition. It's weird that we're getting two assault rifles and one SMG. I found that I I think I I if I had to put money on it, I think that CZ weapon might be an LMG. It just they they just I don't know. But for right now, it's in the carbine slash assault rifle section. So again, we will welcome it with open arms because I'm tired of using the same guns over and 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 over again. Moving on. Now this is probably. The most controversial, to me, the most controversial thing that's going to be put into the season, allegedly, and it's a gadget, and uh, I just, I feel so bad for people who pilot a lot. I don't pilot that much because I play Breakthrough. There's only one map I really pilot on, and it's, uh, is it Flashpoint? No, it's, I forgot the name of the map. <laughs> season 5's map, I forgot, the, I forgot the name of the map, but the gadget is the Eshraw. From Battlefield 4. Now, if you guys ever played Battlefield 4, you know the Estral is a shoulder mounted wire guided type weapon. You shoot it and you can guide it depending on where you're looking. Obviously, the 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 rocket lags behind a little bit. So there is a little bit more skill that goes into the Estral. But it, it I'll, <laughs> paired with Liz, the Estral, Stingers, Rao, like oh, it, are, do 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 they just hate air vehicles? I mean, what's the point in having them in the game when you're every time you come out of cover, you've got three Liz missiles, two Rouse, an AA gun, a C Ram. And now you got the Shraw. I mean, it's going to the the gameplay of air vehicles is just dodging. Like that that's gonna be 
It's not going to be killing people. It's just, hey, look over here. Shoot at me. Beep, 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 beep. Just shit flying at you. You're just going to be a glorified distraction, really, for your team, which isn't a bad thing. But, I mean, if <laughs> what's can you believe... Can you guys believe that they left the Battlefield 4 attack helicopter, pretty much left it alone for the most part? People would mauled and seethe if BF4 came out today and had that attack. Even the BF3 attack helicopter pre-flare nerf, when the gunner and the pilot had flares, like people would melt down. Newer Battlefield fans would melt down because the attack helicopter in this game compared to those games, it's not. it doesn't even hold a candle to it. When it when the game first came out, it was really really good, but now it's just it's been gutted to high heaven as a glorified, uh, again a glorified distraction. Obviously, when you get more skilled pilots and gunners in there, you know they can they can put in some work. But yeah, the Estra is being put into the game allegedly, which I think is super unfortunate and just throws off the vehicle balance uh, even more than it already has been. So yeah, but speaking of vehicles. Allegedly, we're getting a new plane called the X-Fad 4, which is apparently like a rendition of the of Russia's like their version of a B-2 bomber. And I believe this uh, vehicle was found in the game files a long time ago and has a and has a bad a mastery badge and all that already. If I can find the image, I'll throw it up on screen for you guys. But yeah, this vehicle got data mined, data mined by I believe Temporal a long time ago. Like season one, season two, long time ago, and for them to just now be put in the game is very interesting to me because apparently it's an unmanned vehicle, like it's a drone type vehicle, but maybe they will man it. I'm not sure. And what does it mean to be a stealth anything in a battlefield game? Because you're just gonna get locked onto no matter what. Maybe the flight ceiling will be higher for it, and if you go below that, then you'll get locked on. But I don't know. This this is this seems weird. But again. A new vehicle that actually does something is a welcome change and a well, welcome addition to the game. Obviously, with the Pawn Hawk, as far as my play style go, it goes, it's the perfect vehicle. But we need something with a little bit more capability than the Pawn Hawk. When I mean when I say capability, I mean something with a gun on it that can like I don't know defend itself. So hopefully, the X Fat can defend itself with some kind of something flares, ECM jammer, something unique. To it, if it had the ECM jammer, that would actually be really interesting. But um, at, it, will it be a one man or two man plane? I'm not really sure. We will find out. Also, before the video ends, I want to touch on something that Dice actually put out a tease for season seven in a tweet saying, "To deny prosperity to one is to deny it for all." In an exclusive interview, Oz, leader of the NoPat movement, urges the Thousand Patels coalition. To seize their invasion and consider unity as tensions continue to escalate in South America. So it's this uh, 42 second video recording of Oz talking to whoever in this fictitious world, obviously trying to build on the lore of the game that nobody cares about. But I understand, you know, you're, you're, it's a rollout. It's a marketing thing. You're trying to roll the get roll the season out and trying to, you know, get some hype for the season because it's going to be awesome. So I understand. So. It's cool to see them put something out about it. They didn't give us a date, which is unfortunate. But uh, yeah, it's just, it's just Oz talking, really. <laughs> That's about it. It's him just talking to the people and the whatever. I, I don't even know. They actually put out two teasers, as a matter of fact. The other one was breaking. Military dictatorships have united behind the Thousand Patels coalition, causing a major shift in global power as the world watches and braces for the consequences. What brought us to the tipping point? Stay tuned for more coverage tonight so that was pre the oz interview and that's all we've gotten for the new season so yeah what do you guys think about the leaks tell me what you guys think down below in the comments are they good are the weapon additions good is it enough number of weapons in my opinion it's not enough three is abysmal the ashral shouldn't be added to the game and we will see what the vehicle has to offer Really, and again, the teasers are kind of whatever. They're just trying to build on the lore that they don't really care about <laughs> or nobody really cares about in the game because that's what happens when you don't put out a campaign and your game, you know, has very negative reviews when it comes out. So hope you guys do enjoy the video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, and uh, all the links are down in the description down below, Discord, Twitter, all that stuff. 
is down there. We do try to stream over here on youtube.com slash just as much as we can. So subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll stop rambling now. It's been a while since I uploaded a video. I'm a little rusty. I'm not going to lie to you. So I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Girl Scouts. See ya. Bye, guys.